What's up guys, Tink here, and today I'm bringing you a very short video on how to monitor the temperatures of your Raspberry Pi. Now it took me like an hour to find this simple little line of code that you put into terminal to actually tell you what the temperature is instead of just giving you one readout and then stopping and you have to re-enter the code each time. Now it's a terminal code, so you're going to need terminal. Open that up. I got the text here nice and big. Let's actually shrink this up here. Now, for the code, it's very simple. You just type in watch space V C G G E N. Yes, Gen. Uh, C M D. No, not C O M. M D. Space M E A S U R E measure underscore temp. P E M P. Press enter. And then bam, every two seconds, it feeds you an updated temperature of what your CPU is, and it's using the onboard temperature sensor. Now the reason why mine's sitting at 46C, and I do have a fan on it with a heat sink, a little, one of those little ones that it came with, is because I'm actually running, as soon as it loads here, Einstein at home. And what this does is it runs your processor at full tilt, crunching numbers for science projects on gravitational waves. And there's a ton of others you can do. This is just the one I chose to do for my Pi because I just had it sitting there idle, not doing anything. And I recently started doing folding at home on my tower PC, putting it 980 tie and 4690k to work. And I'm like, well, you know, what can I do with this Pi? And I started looking it up and I couldn't do the folding but I could do this Einstein. So I thought, why not? Why not make it do some work, you know? Maybe it'll help me get off this planet one day. So, but that is my short, simple little video on how to get an active temperature readout on your Raspberry Pi. If this video helps you, leave it a you know a thumbs up. If uh, you wanna see some other Raspberry Pi videos, let me know. Been kind of messing around with it. But until next time, take it easy, everyone.